Kahodia, who's a senior manager at Trade Finance, and we're basically talking about financial literacy and specifically opportunities that are available at county levels that may not be that clear or open or obvious that one needs to take advantage of. Now, Kevin, just before we took that, um, um, before we went over to Isli, we were, you're, you're explaining on some of the places and institutions where we can get this information because yeah. it is not uh, obvious, like I've it's, mentioned. Yeah. Uh, it is not something that maybe one may go and get online, but the information is there, especially on how to bridge that gap of not having finances yet maybe you have an order yes. maybe you have a business that you can do yes. and there are financial institutions that are willing to fund ideas okay thank you so much mike the first one is the commercial banks uh, where you can get this kind of information commercial banks through their csl okay most commercial banks now have um, what we call business club like credit bank we have one we call entrepreneurs club or entrepreneurship hub so banks they have those kind of um, uh, advocacy and then uh, they actually make or disseminate this information that's number one number two is we also have microfinance institutions where banks don't have don't have lessons you always find some institutions that are also availing the financial solutions again you can approach them and basically they also really disseminate the same information there is also NGOs okay who are actually keen really to really just partner with the professionals and then they go to uh, areas who, which are perceived to be not very attractive in terms of um, getting people to who, who are bankable or so to speak and then lastly is the publications you realize almost every day there is a newspaper uh, and then there's an article on a certain area a certain segment and again then you'll find the uh, industry players or captain of industries really just disseminating information in matters financial uh, deepening or financial inclusion and financial literacy mm -hmm. yeah all right what opportunities can one take advantage of at the county level uh, right now with the devolved government uh, what they've done or what is supposed to happen is that uh, resources have been taken to the county level where there should be more opportunities opening up for entrepreneurs and anybody who would like to make a decent living by virtue of the fact that there are opportunities now at the county level okay thank you so much for that and uh, uh, in as much as we have the national government and the county government uh, as you focus on the county government now the opportunities in the county is actually a miller of actually what used to be there in the national government so more or less it's actually like you've said because it's devolved uh, people actually should not really just perceive there's also another perception mm -hmm. that county are risky the county government are risky and people really don't want to to handle or to do business with the counties mm -hmm. and yet it's actually actually a devolved mm -hmm. of the government now uh, the opportunity in the county it is it, it 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 depends with are you do you want to provide a service or do you want to provide a good now it's uh, you who is targeting the county uh, the first step is go to the county mm -hmm. and uh, find out what is their budget because even even the government the national government has this budget of these are the inflows and these are the outflows okay so in terms of this budget you have to finance it right and this budget is purpose is the the outflows is where you want to the money to go so anyone in the county need to go to the county and look at where is the money going all right what is the budget set for like in load infrastructure and meaning these loads are not actually the highways those are loads that will require maybe bush clearing mm -hmm. and routine maintenance and actually you can actually do that job without even owning any equipment you can even hire all this mm -hmm. and banks are willing to do that mm -hmm. all right that's number one in terms of now the the, the, the infrastructure now when we come now to other services that are administrative the, it's an office it's a government it will require all the service provider like the national government again that one is either uh, placed in a bulletin or there's a way they are actually disclosing it through the website then again you can actually go and check what is it that uh, is there for the county mm -hmm. in terms of what service can i offer what good can i deliver okay as we wind up yes. your key advice to the young people out there of opportunities that are possibly lying out there that we're not taking advantage of. Let's talk about 
the you started off by saying there is money that has been set aside by the government yes. for women, youth, and, and persons, persons with disabilities. With disabilities. Yeah, yes, yes. Maybe just talk to us on some of the opportunities that are out there that many could take advantage of that maybe are not aware of. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Mike, for that question. Uh, the opportunities, if, at, if it was to start today, uh, me and Mike, and we say, all right, we are starting uh, our we are, venture. Uh, uh, exactly. Mm. As at now. Mm. Uh, we don't actually even have to overthink. Mm -hmm. All right? The best thing we have to ask ourselves is, what are we good at? All right? Because you have to be, you, have to, you, you must be known for something. Mm -hmm. You have to be good at something. Mm -hmm. Then, in that what you're good at, you are able actually now to say, all right, this is what I'm good at. Then you ask yourself, where is the, the gap? Because in every business, you must have a gap that you're going to satisfy. That need that is always there, everywhere, is actually wh where you actually ask yourself, um, have I positioned myself to really address that need? The moment you position yourself, then anything to do with the resources or the how, even if you are limited, all financial institutions as at now, they are actually going almost every, every other institution. They are also advertising. And when you go to that institution that is actually looking for the, that service or that uh, delivery, they actually tell you that a bank was here and it made a pitch and this is what they are offering mm. for you as a youth, you as a lady, or you as a person with stability, even with limited resources you have. Mm. So if you are to, to approach those entities, banks have actually uh, presented their value proposition and actually they actually link, actually they are the same institution that will fire you mm. to the best bank as a partner, because even them as a consumer, they know which bank are good in A, B, or C. Okay. You'll never be stranded, mm. as long as you're willing to take that first step. That first step of, yes. uh, and the initiative, of course. Absolutely. Uh, that's what is required. All right, yes. uh, your final thoughts, your closing comments. Okay, great. Uh, now, uh, what I can tell the viewers, Mike, is that in terms of financial inclusion, in terms of financial literacy, uh, you need to have a bargaining power in any business you're doing. Because in any business you're doing, there are more than one party involved. The moment you have the strength in terms of bargaining power, and this bargaining power is what we call information, and with information we say information is power. The moment you have information and you're equipped with information, you are more, you are more at, a at a more advantage position than even having money in your pocket. Mm. So the issue is not money, the issue is not Funding, the issue is do you have do you have the information? Because even as you negotiate the terms of trade, mm. you, also, you you cannot negotiate from a point of ignorance. Right. You so have to first have of info. all, get the light information. Approach the proper institution, they equip you with the inf information because it's also their interest. Mm. If I'm lending money to any entity, I, will, I will, it's also my interest that ma that money comes back. Comes back, right. So I don't want to lend money and then that person did not have uh, an idea later after getting the money, mm. uh, where again do I go and put this money? Mm. Lily, uh, the best that you can have is how empowered are you okay. in terms of information? Thank you very much, Kevin yes. Kahodia, Senior Manager at Trade Finance, for joining us this morning and giving us light on opportunities that may be available to you at the county level and also how to bridge that gap. Now, with